Meghan Markle is not like Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, or Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, who have behaved impeccably and abided by the royal code since becoming a member of the royal family, royal author Anna Pasternak has said. Kensington Palace announced in March that both the Cambridges and Sussexes have officially split their royal households, sparking rumors of a rift between the royal couples. The move was announced just a month after five of Meghan's closest friends revealed their concerns about the rumors surrounding Meghan Markle in a tell-all interview with People magazine earlier this year. Speaking on Yahoo's The Royal Box podcast, royal author Anna Pasternak outlined the difference in behavior between Meghan, Kate, and Camilla. M's Pasternak said, I think that Camilla has behaved impeccably because both the Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Cornwall have adhered to the royal code which is to keep quiet and not to bleed through friends to the press, not to press their case in the press, and to get on with where they are in the royal family. Meghan and Prince Harry are preparing to move from central London to Frogmore Cottage, on the grounds of Windsor Castle, ahead of the arrival of their first child. Meghan and Harry's move to Frogmore Cottage sparked speculation of an alleged rift between Kate and Meghan. Royal sources claimed the Duchess of Sussex reduced her sister-in-law to tears shortly before her wedding to Prince Harry. It was claimed Meghan made Kate cry during a fitting for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress in the run-up to the royal wedding. Kensington Palace has refused to comment only to say an argument over the treatment of Kate's staff never happened. M's pastor Nack said rumors of the rift are undoubtedly true, adding, I think that William is very responsible and, as I said, knows what his role is. And Kate has come alongside that and executed that extremely well. I think it's quite difficult to have had Meghan, who seems to want to modernize and set her own agenda, and you can't have it all. You cannot have your freedom in this privilege. So, it is a Faustian pact. It's not a fairy tale and recognize that and live with the consequences. Body language experts have said Meghan Markle uses subtle body language techniques to appear more funny and real. Body language expert Judy James outlined a fabulous digital about the similarities between Meghan's recent gestures and those that Princess Diana used to employ. She said, Meghan used this gesture when she was wearing her more formal royal clothing for the first time. This implies a desire to look funny and real rather than stiff and starchy. Princess Diana used to employ similar, self-effacing traits, such as tie signs to connect with her fans when she was appearing at very dressy royal events, often grinning and rolling her eyes at the cameras to show she was still natural and down-to-earth despite wearing a long gown and a tiara.